potential disaster and how to avoid it. On the 27th day of the U.S. government shutdown, many federal workers who are already under financial stress are considering if bankruptcy is the only answer. Some consumer insolvencies are precipitated by events beyond someone's control, but a number are entirely within a person's power to stop it. Here are four tips on how to keep your finances from falling off the edge. 1. Keep an eye on your credit card balance. Try to pay your credit card balances and all your bills on time. If timely payments can't happen, pay it back as soon as possible or arrange a repayment plan. 2. Know your spending and your savings too. There is a difference between your wants and your needs. People striving for financial independence need to properly budget. Track and write down how you spend your money. Categorize each expenditure as a need or a want. By mapping out all your spending, people can then prioritize where their money should and shouldn't be going. Make a habit of setting aside a certain percentage of your income for both an emergency fund and for savings. 3. Improve your financial literacy. There are other ways to get started early in life to avoid financial disaster. These pointers are designed to help you. They are obvious, but few people pay attention to them. 4. Maintain your financial independence. Generally speaking, Canada has a financial literacy problem. It comes down to a realistic understanding about your income and expenses. Budgeting sounds like a chore, but it can help prevent future problems. If you are informed about your budget and spending, then you can avoid a financial disaster. If you feel your spending is out of control or you have too much debt, contact the Ira Smith team for your free consultation. I hope you enjoyed the video. The Ira Smith team is available to help you at any time. We offer sound advice and a solid plan for starting over, starting now, so that you'll be well on your way to a debt-free life in no time. For more information on a no-cost basis, please visit our website or call us. Our website and telephone details are coming right up now.